Well, what's up guys, Wolf Rider here with another video this week. Let's get on with the intro real quick, because uh, we've got a little bit to talk about. So, what's up guys, I hope you guys are having a good day. Wolf Rider here with another video this week. Today, as you probably saw on the uh, picture clip of the video, I have quit swift so let's get into it fairly quickly so as i said in the previous video i'm not sure if you caught it if you haven't seen that video as far as uh keeping an eye and listening to your recruiter here's a video you might want to watch that first you may have caught a little tip on the information and how important it is to do your research and pay attention and not to believe everything those recruiters may or may not tell you if you don't ask you're not gonna know and if you ask sometimes I'm not gonna tell you exactly all the truth so I about a week ago now yeah a week ago uh, I quit Swift I'm no longer training for Swift um, and I'm gonna tell you right now why and the reason for that is not necessarily that they're a bad company to start with if you're starting you know from scratch getting a CDL it's just like any starting company. Warner, uh, CR England, and Swift. I cannot speak for the other companies because I have not looked, to, looked into those or have not worked for them or tried to be in their school, school program other than what I mentioned in my previous videos, that they have some style of driving and training with this team driving that is not what I want to do. So again, make sure to do your research before you decide what school or what company you want to go train for to get your CDL and work for. One thing that they do tell you or do you hear a lot about Swift, it says you don't have a contract to sign. Well, you may not have a strict contract to sign with Swift, but there is one that you do sign. You do sign a contract as far as the school is concerned and the cost of the school. And that basically means that if you work for them for a year, you only pay half of the school costs. Uh, and the way that works, I'm sure there's a few other videos out there as far as uh, Swift is concerned, you can go see those. But the way that works, just because I've done the research and already been here, how that works, um, they basically take out $80 of your check and they reimburse you $40 right back. So basically you're just paying $40 every paycheck, uh, about $120 a month to pay back your school for your first year. You do sign a contract with Swift, basically stating that if you quit Swift before those 12 months, you're gonna be liable for pretty much the full amount. They can go for part of the school, but at the same time, I have heard stories that they have gone for the full amount regardless if you quit prior to those uh, 12 months. But they have some nine month or 12 month deal going on there, but you do end up paying for some of the school. And if you do quit, you're gonna be responsible for at least the balance of it. So that is the contract you're paying for Swift. Now, if you stay a second year with them, they will reimburse you back what you already paid and basically the school is free. Uh, and that's great and dandy. Not the reason I quit Swift, but there is a contract that you are still gonna sign with them. So it's not necessarily a non-contract. Um, I just wanted to be able to go through the training process and be able to go solo and have the ability to have my pet and on my girl whenever I wanted to. And as I said in my previous video, my recruiter told me that was okay. When I come find out here in orientation, uh, Swiss orientation with one of the, the students here is that that's not necessarily the case. You, I could only have one or the other, but I couldn't have both things and a truck, you know, both individuals, my pet or my girl or passenger, let's put it like that, a pet or a passenger in a truck with me at the same time. And that's a deal breaker for me. Another reason that I decided to quit, uh, added to that, was the fact that you have a restriction on your license as automatic only. And I did that say in the beginning, and I also said that wasn't a big deal for me, and it's not, but it was still bugging me. To tell you the truth, it was still kind of bugging me a little bit. I don't like, I'm not the type of person I like to have restrictions in what I can or cannot do. Um, so though I was willing to work with it, if I had to, in order to be the end result, to get to my end result plan, which is driving. And I do know and understand that a lot of the bigger companies have switched to automatic trucks 
due to their technology and, and uh, savings and maintenance and things like that. So that wasn't going to be a big deal or a deal breaker with many companies that I was already looking into getting to start with. But it was bugging me to have that restriction in my head. Um, there was another, you know, a couple of the reasons that I, that I, through the process, decided at the end that Swift was not the company I wanted to be. And of course, that misinformation that I got from my recruiter. Uh, and even after I spoke with her, on the phone the day I found that out, she claimed that that's not what she told me. And I was like, no, this is not what I want to do. So I ended up speaking with the school recruiter here in uh, LA, in Fontana, worked out a deal and with help with uh, some family members and a school to my girl support. I went to the program and uh, basically I am financing the school on my own. I am actually now doing manual because of that and I'm an independent student so I'm studying and practicing on manual now I've already done all the skills uh, with the automatic at that time it was the last week I would have gone to orientation this past Monday uh, today is the 29th by the time you see this video is probably gonna be New Year's I would have already been gone through orientation last week if I would have stayed but I'll but I'm not. I have actually am now an individual, individual, individual student because of that, and I've been driving and practicing uh, my skills again in manual. The one thing, like I said in my previous video, that I'm not too happy about is the fact that we haven't gotten a lot of driving time. Um, and though I'm, I'm very confident with my driving and the double clutching that you have to do in manual, because I've been in a truck, you know, before. Um, not necessarily driving on the road and nobody necessarily taught me the double clutch but there's plenty of videos out there you can find on YouTube and if you're a good driver I've driven manual transmissions since I was 15 years old so it's not necessarily a big deal to understand how it works but the double clutching is something that you have to get really used to it and if you're not familiar with a clutch or how to drive a man at least a manual vehicle then it is going to take a little more challenging time for you to understand that. But if you've driven manual and you're, you're experienced with that, it's just a couple extra steps that you have to get used to. Again, we'll get into that in another video. Once I'm driving, I'll give some tips on that and uh, post that on the channel. So that's something to come. But, yep, I quit Swift. No longer with Swift. Um, again, I'm not saying that they're a bad company, but I'm saying make you, you know, do your research. Uh, to hear through YouTube, listen to other people like myself at this point that have gone through the process with them and make sure it's something that works for your situation and it's going to work with what your future plans are. So hey guys, my camera died before I got to finish the video. So uh, just going to conclude it here. Again, just make sure that you do your research, the company that you want to go with and make sure that what you recruited telling, is telling you is actually truth. Uh, because like I said in the previous video watch it up there um, they're not always going to tell you 100% what you need to know so make sure you re research and you ask your questions because uh, you may find out it's something different than what they told you and once you're here you're here already so it's a waste of time and money so uh, but uh, like I said I'm no longer with Swift I'm doing this individually follow this journey continuing as an individual I take my uh, CDL testing in a couple of weeks so I have a couple more weeks uh, here in the class as I'm actually taking my test with the DMV instead of in the school I actually take it in the DMV for some reason you cannot take it in the school if you're an individual because the license for the examiners there are, is tied up to SWIFT only uh, so you're an individual you can train there use facilities and they train you and teach you but you take your exam at the DMV and you have to make an appointment and appointment times are long ways you know long ways ahead um, but they the school you know contacts them directly and get you a, a closer date so right now because the way things happen with me and were changed all of a sudden um, I almost had to wait to February 11th but luckily they were able to get it for early this month and then I already have its date for orientation with the company I'm with, which I will let you know who that is later on, but not right now. Uh, once I get on with them and do what I got to do there, then we'll see when I let you know who I'm with. But other than that, everything's all set. 
um, again thank you for following if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe comment like and hit the notification bell so you can know when new videos are being posted and uh, we'll see you on the next one we'll find it out